O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. They're taken from the first words of Psalm 70 and they're among the most frequently spoken words that we take from the Bible. At Roman Catholic Vespers and Anglican evening prayer and midday prayer and night prayer, day by day, year by year, century by century, we say, O oh Lord, make speed to save us. O oh God, make haste to help us. They were used in the trenches. They're bringing up the heavy artillery. O oh God, make speed to save us. They were used in the Second World War. Incoming at eight o'clock. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. And I bet you, before this day is out, small groups of soldiers in Afghanistan today, in 2020, will gather in a dusty corner with a battered prayer book and say, oh God, make speed to save us. And that's fitting, because this is a battlefield psalm by a battlefield poet. The poet we can see in this psalm is facing people who want to kill him, who desire his ruin, who spot him and take aim. But it's deliberately vague enough that it can be used in different kinds of front line as well. I bet there will be medics this evening at the beginning of a long night shift, finding common worship evening prayer maybe on their phones as they contemplate another six hours in PPE and they will say, oh Lord, make haste to help us. And there's a word in Psalm 70, which particularly struck me. When I tell you what it is, you might think it's no big deal, but, but the word is always. Uh, you see, it doesn't just say there in verse four, let those who love your salvation say great is the Lord. It's let those who love your salvation always say great is the Lord. I mean, always, always. Not necessarily in a happy tone of voice, sometimes through tears, sometimes silently, sometimes mouthed behind a visor, sometimes through gritted teeth, sometimes drowned out by overhead bombing, but always great is the Lord. The Somali poet Washan Shire, who's also a battlefield poet, like the author of our psalm, has written this. Later that night, she says, I held an atlas in my lap. I ran my fingers across the whole world and whispered, where does it hurt? It answered, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere, 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 it hurts. And yet, always, 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 great is the Lord. The Hungarian writer Dürj Mikesh once met an English tourist in Budapest. Um, do you like it here? asked Mikesh. Well, yes, I do, but there's too many foreigners. Uh, excuse me, sir, but in Budapest, these people aren't foreign. Here in Budapest, you're the foreigner. Foreign? My dear sir, I'm not foreign, I'm British. Truth is not dependent on geography. Well, truth is not dependent on coronavirus or on military strength 
or on the heartbreak that you may be facing. And it is precisely because we believe the truth, great is the Lord, always, 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 that we pray, O oh Lord, make haste to help us. I mean, it's an urgent psalm, isn't it? Uh, so obviously it's okay to be urgent in prayer. It doesn't have to be all, O oh, merciful Father. It can be, O oh God, O oh Lord, and that's all right. Four times in this psalm, we ask God to move more quickly. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Come to me quickly, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, do not delay. I don't know where he's supposed to be coming from, this God. I mean, downwards or, or, or backwards from a peaceful future? I don't know. The poem doesn't say. But wherever God is, it feels like God isn't where God needs to be, which is right here, right now. And we need God here. I think God is pleased with our urgency because it shows that we've been dislodged from our smugness and our complacency. And we're admitting we really, really need God. And God? Well, Jesus showed us how God feels. Jesus saw the mess the world was in, hurting everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And he didn't hang back. He threw himself at the planet, saying, let me go there, whatever the cost, whatever happens to me, I want to be with them. Always, always, always.